Popular home genetic test could put your family's most personal information at risk. It's estimated more than 12 million Americans have sent their DNA to be analyzed by companies like 23andMe and Ancestry DNA. The data is sometimes shared with or sold to third parties for use in medical research. Both companies say that requires users to opt in. Law enforcement has used public DNA databases to identify criminal suspects like the alleged Golden State Killer. An editorial in today's New England Journal of Medicine calls for more oversight. It says, quote, our current regulatory approach to privacy in direct to consumer genealogic testing has permitted the creation of a Wild West environment. Uh, Dr. David Agus is here. David, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. What are the positive and negatives of having your DNA tested in this consumer uh, test? Well, it's fun, right? You look at where your heritage, are you part Neanderthal, are you from Italian, are you from uh, Northern uh, Europe? You can tell all of that and people enjoy that. Um, when you sign up, you put in your name, have the option to, and then you may find other relatives, a second or third cousin you never knew about because you have sections of DNA similar to them. But when you sign up, the first thing you do is you sign or you click the terms of service and the privacy agreement. This is them. I mean, can you imagine, <laughs> yeah. has there anybody in ever history that's ever read all this stuff? Yeah. I tried to read it in the green room, and I was asleep by page two. Yeah. And so while there is privacy and described here, it's very hard to understand or even read. So are they selling our data? Yes, period. Mm -hmm. um, so this week it was announced that one of the companies sold their data for $300 million to a pharmaceutical company to develop drugs. Well, first of all- This is 23andMe. This is 23andMe. People opted in and said, yes, you could use it for research. You know, using it for research, I'm all excited if Harvard University is gonna study and learn about a disease, but a pharmaceutical company, it's a very different story. The second part is, is that, you know, this is a select group of patients who can afford to do this. Right. And so do we want drug development only done on the haves and not on uh, the whole population? So this was always the argument with something like 23andMe. Let's say that I discover that I have a disorder, something that then could then be disclosed. And then when I apply for a job, that, per that, that employer says, I don't want to employ someone who has a chronic medical condition because that will drive up my medical costs and insurance costs. Isn't that the worry? So GINA, the Genetic Non-Discrimination Act, said employers with more than 15 employees, so not small ones but large ones, cannot discriminate based on genetics. Mm. And so that's not true for uh, life insurance, that's not true for long-term care, but it is true for employment in that regard. So in that way, you're, you're safe. Mm -hmm. But you know, look at the privacy side. The Golden State Killer is a fantastic example. Yeah. What the police did was yeah. they took DNA evidence from the scene and they sent it into one of these companies. And then they said, who is he related to? And then they went to those relatives and they figured out who he was. Yeah. And so what's amazing is, is that you could send in DNA, I could take DNA from that coffee cup and send it in and learn about Nora. And so what does that imply? You know, when you wanna, uh, yeah. don't give me that look. <laughs> <laughs> I would not do it, Nora, trust me. Can I have that coffee? <laughs> yeah, well, there are when, when you apply for a credit card, you yeah. get all your identity. But the, when you send in DNA, you don't. This is the Wild West. Dr. David Agus, there's yeah. so much more to talk about. We have to cut it off there, though. Thank you. We should note yeah. several of the testing companies, including 23andMe and Ancestry, follow standards developed by the Future Privacy Forum and Industry Privacy Group.